A blessed day to you students! Welcome to our math class. For today's lesson, we will be learning how to square a binomial. A binomial is an expression composed of two monomials, hence the prefix bi, that are connected by either a plus sign or a minus sign. So, how do we square a binomial? Well, we've got a couple of options. The first method is the FOIL method. The FOIL method stands for first, outer, inner, and last. FOIL is a mnemonic or memory device that helps you remember how to multiply two binomials together, which is exactly what you're doing when you take the square of a binomial. Before you go any further, take a second to refresh your memory on what it means to square a number, regardless of whether it's a variable, a constant, a polynomial, which includes binomials or anything else. When you square a number, you multiply it by itself. So if you square x, you have x times x, which can also be written as x squared. If you square a binomial like x plus 2, you have the square of x plus 2 or once you write out the multiplication, it is the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 2. With that in mind, you're ready to apply the FOIL method to squaring binomials. Apply the FOIL method starting with the F, which stands for the first terms of each polynomial. In this case, the first terms are both x. So when you multiply them together, you have x squared. Next, multiply the outer terms of each binomial. That's the x from the first binomial and the 2 from the second binomial, since they're on the outer edges of the multiplication you wrote out. That leaves you with 2x. The next letter in FOIL is i, so you'll multiply the inner terms of the polynomials together. That's the 2 from the first binomial and the x from the second binomial, giving you 2x. Note that if you're squaring a polynomial, the O and I terms of FOIL will always be the same. The last letter in FOIL is L, which stands for multiplying the last terms of the binomials together. That's the 2 from the first binomial and the 2 from the second binomial, which gives you 4. Add the FOIL terms you just calculated together. The result will be the square of the binomial. The FOIL is a quick, easy way of remembering how to multiply binomials, but it only works for binomials. If you're dealing with polynomials that have more than two terms, you'll have to apply the distributive property. Let's have one more example. The square of x minus 3. So applying the FOIL method, first terms would be x times x that gives us x squared. Next is the outer terms x and negative 3 that gives us negative 3x, the inner terms, negative 3 times x that gives us negative 3x, and last terms, negative 3 times negative 3, which gives us positive 9. Then combine negative 3x and negative 3x that would give us negative 6x. Now our final answer would be x squared minus 6x plus 9. Let's take a look at a special rule that will allow us to find the product without using the FOIL method. The square of a binomial is the sum of the square of the first term, and then twice the product of the two terms, and square of the last term. I know this sounds confusing, so take a look. The square of x plus y. That would be, squaring the first term gives us x squared, twice the product of the two terms that gives us 2xy and the square of the second term that gives us y squared. If you can remember this formula, you will be able to evaluate polynomial squares without having to use the FOIL method. It will take practice. Now, let's take a look at some examples and find the product using our special rule. For example, the square of x plus 9. So our first step is to square the first term. Our first term is x, and that gives us x squared. Next, 2 times the first term and the second term. That would be 2 times x times 9, which gives us 8 and x. And lastly, square the last term, and that gives us 9 times 9, which is 81. Therefore, 
the square of x plus 9 is equal to x squared plus 18x plus 81. Next example, we have the square of 2x minus 4. Same process, we will square the first term and that gives us 4x squared. Next, twice the first and second term, which is 2 times 2x times negative 4, which gives us negative 16x. And lastly, square the last term, which is negative 4, and that gives us positive 16. Therefore, the square of 2x minus 4 is equal to 4x squared minus 16x plus 16. And that's it for today. Thank you for listening and see you again in my next video. This is Teacher Rebecca for ClickChain.